there's always something fun to do in South Orange County, especially Dana Point. Whether it's the endless activities at the harbor or some world-class dining, you're really never gonna get tired of the city. But today, I'm gonna highlight some of the best things to do in Dana Point, so check it out. Hey, my name is Ryan Schramm, and I'm the owner and broker of Ryan Schramm Real Estate here in South Orange County. Let's dive in. Okay, hands down, one of the best spots and a harbor, pun intended, for fun activity is Dana Point Harbor. There's so many things to do, whether you hop on a boat at Dana Wharf and go whale watching like you can right now. There's so much action happening out on the water right now. If you wanted to go see whales, dolphins, whatever sea life is out there, now is the time to hop on a boat and go whale watching. Or you can rent sea dews, paddle boards. There is literally an endless amount of activity supported and supplied by Dana Point Harbor. One of the other things that I really recommend, and I think I'm gonna do a separate video on this for you all, is to take the Catalina Express, which is a big ferry that docks right at Dana Wharf, take that express ferry over to Catalina Island and hang out in Avalon for a day, or you can get a hotel there at the Descanso Beach Club or one of the many hotels that are at, at Catalina. And that is literally one of the coolest things that I think we have. It's only 31 miles away from Dana Point, but when you get there, honestly, you feel like you're in a different country like Greece or something like that. It's just super special, so check that out. All right, next on the list, there's some awesome hiking and walking trails in Dana Point. Make sure and check out the historical Bluff Top Trail, which is literally gonna meander and take you along the Dana Point headland the actual bluff in itself, which is like, it's a magnificent piece of a scenery and really very majestic. It's, it's a bold point that sticks out into the Pacific Ocean and it's something where you should take that trail and check that out. The other really cool thing to check out is the Pacific Coast Highway Pedestrian and Bicycle Trail. That's a protected trail along PCH where you can ride a bike or jog all the way from Dana Point to Camino Capistrano, which is a street in San Clemente. And the other cool thing is, if you want, it connects to the beach trail in San Clemente and you can go another two and a half miles. So you're looking at about four to five miles of really cool walking or bike trail along PCH and along the Pacific Ocean. All right, my next recommendation is the excellent restaurants and dining that we have. Just uh, to name a few, You've got the Chart House, which is a super iconic and popular restaurant, literally up on top of the Dana Point headland. Remember I told you about that historic bluff trail? Well, Chart House is right there and it has the most insane view looking down on Dana Point Harbor, all the boats, and kind of looking south down towards the, uh, the San Clemente Bay, if you will. It's a cool perspective. You, you don't realize how much the coast bellies right there and turns into a bay, so that's a really unique spot to have dinner. There are also some really killer craft cocktail and craft food eateries like Craft House, Coastal Kitchen, and many, many others. If you ever are curious about a spot to hit in Dana Point, drop me a comment below and I'll give you my top four list of places to eat. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a top things to do video without beaches. Dana Point has some awesome beaches. Salt Creek, Strands Beach, and Doheny State Beach are awesome spots to hang out. If you wanna surf, Salt Creek can be really, really awesome. Just look out for the locals there. And of course, Doheny has a great longboard wave. It's a really unique spot, tucked up right against the harbor with a long gradual rolling wave. That can be a really fun spot. And then inside the protected break wall of the harbor is Baby Beach. It got its name because moms like to take their kids there. Uh, there is a buoy line protecting it from any boats or anything like that. So you've got this cool protected swim area and a nice white sand beach within the protected waters of the harbor, that's Baby Beach. Now an added bonus for you all, the holiday festivities. If you get a chance to come to Dana Point in December, it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of times the weather can be fantastic. There's little remnants of summer still tossed in there, but they light up the entire harbor area 
and it's a great spot for people of all ages, young and old, it doesn't matter. You can walk along the, the headway to where all the boats are parked and it's all lit up with Christmas lights. They put some giant fish and whale structures and they light those up as well so kids can run inside and outside of there. And then there's the Dana Point uh, Parade of Lights where people come and decorate their boats and it goes from like seven o'clock to nine o'clock and it's fun to just hang out on shore and wave to people and yell Merry Christmas and whatnot. So that's a really cool thing to check out if you're able to make it here in December. If you'd like more information on Dana Point, make sure and check out this video playlist that I put together for you. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get alerted when I drop a new video. Now, as always, be sure to let me know if you've had any thoughts of buying in Dana Point or South Orange County, or maybe you've had thoughts of selling a property shoot me a text or give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.